What's up, everybody? Moving on to another question. We're dealing with polynomial functions, and we have to find the equation of a cubic function that has zeros, or x-intercepts, at negative 1 half, 3, and 4, and it has a y-intercept at negative 38. So let's actually um, draw a quick sketch of what's happening here. So we have an x-intercept at negative 1 half, x-intercept at 3, x-intercept at 4, and then a y-intercept at negative 38. So this cubic function is going to look something like this. All right, so this is negative 1 half, this is negative 38, this is 3, this is 4. Okay, the question is, is how do we um, get the equation of this? So notice how we're given the uh, x-intercepts. So we're given an x-intercept of negative 1 half. We're given an x-intercept of 3 and an x-intercept of 4. So what we can do is we can find what the um, factors are going to be in the equation. So starting with this x equals 4, what we can do, bring this 4 over, so we'd have x minus 4 equals 0. Bring this 3 over, x minus 3 equals 0. So these are two factors. And then we can bring this 1 half over, which would be um, x plus 1 half is equal to 0. However, notice that this is sort of ugly. We don't want it in this form. So what we can do is we can multiply everything in this equation by 2 to get rid of that denominator 2. So we can multiply this x by 2, we can multiply this half by 2, we can multiply this 0 by 2. And we'd be left with 2x plus 1 equals 0. Right? So that is another factor right there. So if we combine all of these in an equation, what we'll have is 2x plus 1, we'll have x minus 3, and we'll also have x minus 4. However, notice that there's also this y-intercept of negative 38. So we have to solve for what's that constant a in front going to be, right? Because this can be, even though it's going through all these intercepts, we don't know how stretched or how compressed this is. So we have to figure out that a value to see what the exact equation of this function going to be. And we can use any point other than the x-intercepts that are given on the function, and we are given this y-intercept. So this y-intercept, the coordinate of it, is 0 and negative 38. So what we can do is we can plug in an x value of 0 for all the x's here, and then a y value of negative 38, and then solve for that a value. All right, so the y value would be negative 38, a value we're solving for. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 would give us 1. Uh, 0 minus 3 would give us negative 3, and then 0 minus 4 would give us negative 4. So we got negative 38 equals 1 times negative 3 times negative 4 gives us 12, positive 12, so we'd have 12a here. And then if we divide both sides by 12, we'll have um, a equals negative 38 over 12, right? The 12s will cancel out here. And that can simplify to negative 19 over 6. And that won't simplify any further. So that there is our final a value. So our final equation for this function is negative 19 over 6, the a value. And then we just rewrite these factors again. So we got 2x plus 1. We got x minus 3. And then x minus 4. So that there is your final answer.